Hi, I'm Jan Kleinschmidt for JLOR. We're here today to talk about dry matter determinations of wet feed ingredients. Getting the dry matter determination of wet feed ingredients is extremely important because if you're working with, for example, a haylage that is at 50% moisture, if that moisture level increases to 60% and you're not aware of it, you're actually feeding more water than haylage. So you will be shortchanging your animals in terms of the effect of fiber within the haylage, but also the protein content of the haylage. The procedure is this. You take a fresh sample of your product, weigh out about 100 grams, and then you simply put it into the coster oven, turn the oven on, and you leave it to dry down. The drying down, of course, will be determined by how much moisture is in the product. The reason why I like the coster oven is because it is not a fire risk. I've had many clients put the ingredient into the coster oven and then simply forget about it for about 24 hours. When they went back, the product was definitely dried down, but there was no risk of a fire in the barn. And of course, that's one thing we always want to avoid is barn fire. There's another method of determining dry matter content of an ingredient, and that's the microwave oven method. I'm not fond of this method because it, there is a high risk of fire. It also generates um, a very bad smell and is not popular uh, amongst members of the staff. So my recommendation for my folks is to use the coster oven. Once the product has dried down, you simply pick up the coster oven, put the product back onto the scale, get the final weight, and through subtraction, you can determine what the moisture content is of the ingredient. Getting the moisture content of your wet ingredients is important because it will affect the entire TMR. Getting your TMR mixture correct is essential because nutrition matters.